Hello everybody and welcome back to Private Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved custom scenarios. I have a sore in my mouth and it sucks. So if I if I don't speak well and I start slurring over my words, that'll be the reason why. We have a request today for Russian experiments or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. This thing actually just recently, I think, made it up into the uh, Five Star Club, which is kind of cool. Oh gosh dang, I gotta find the darn thing. Hang on, it's on my subscribe list somewhere. Uh, oh gosh, there it is. Oddly enough, it doesn't show as five stars here in Plague Inc.'s uh, UI, but on Steam, it is five stars. Weirdness. The Russian research team known as Smart Research in Russian Experimentation is researching a cure for cancer and 36 attempts has already failed. I like how everything is capitalized because that's completely necessary. The 37th one is a success and there's finally a cure vaccination for cancer. You can vaccinate for cancer? But, the cure may have eradicated cancer. In secret, a new disease forms in the vaccination part of the cure and begins to spread. Who know its mutation pattern, strain, and patient zero? Okay, so it's a new threat to humanity, and Russia is going to get us all killed. Wonderful! You know what they say about the road to hell being paved with good intentions? Well, the road to cure to cancer is likely to lead to imminent death. ATP boost, genetic mimic, aquasite extreme file, and symptostasis on normal difficulty. CCD37, fine. And of course, it has to start in Russia. A new form of virus is secretly spreading through in the vaccination part of the cancer cure. So at the end of this, okay, I want there to be at least a few million people left, like tens of millions of people. And I want them to be the anti-vaxxers. The anti-vaxxers have to live in this scenario. It just makes sense. Avoid being discovered. Avoid most symptoms. The CCD strain is an easily cured strain and needs cover. Using transmission is a good way to infect the world with this strain. Okay. High severity, I guess, then? I'm not accustomed to starting in Russia, especially when it's considered wealthy. Russia's not usually considered ru wealthy, is it? I don't think it is. All right. Transmission. Uh, well, Russia is considered to be humid and rural, so I guess livestock can make sense. Also, water. Water's probably better, so we'll do that. Symptoms. Seems like the normal stuff here. Did I miss any custom? No, it's the normal transmissions rearranged. Abilities? Oh. There's, there's something unique here. Severity cover one. Strain mutates a cover to decrease severity, but will increase mutation chance. One use only. Interesting. I mean, that could be a trade-off that actually works well for me in both cases. What if I want more mutation chance toward the end of the campaign? That could be nice. Same thing, same thing. So... Why, why do it that way? Why not just have three attached and gated behind each other? Why have three separate ones that you can activate? I don't even know. Well, I'm praying that there's actually going to be some more customization in this scenario, because otherwise, this is the same basic one, and the author thought that they could just rearrange where all the transmissions are, and I wouldn't notice! You're wrong! Of course I would freaking notice. You even know- Do you even know who I am? I need to get nausea. The Russians are kissing, and I- Thank you. That is exactly- Yes. Uh, everyone else apparently also wants to barf. Okay. So yeah, let's focus then on getting our transmissions. I mean, maybe maybe the author did tweak things a little bit, and it's a bit more invisible. But um, lowered the threshold for when countries will detect you and start trying to cure you. That's entirely possible. In which case, that is actually a relatively good change, in that it does change my style up a little bit, that I can't go for the classic... Rash and then skin lesions, though I'm tempted to do so anyway, because infection in cold countries is really good. In fact, let's go ahead and pick up pneumonia. I mean, that could be, but it's an invisible change and doesn't really make the scenario feel that unique. So, gotta be mindful of that. Would love to get some extra water transmission. Pulmonary edema is a too powerful devolve. Uh, I am definitely thinking that maybe we want to go for the sweating. And let's go ahead and do it. Just better in cold countries and stuff. It's cheap. It's infective. It's applicable to Russia. There's a reason that the Russians don't sweat. Wait, is there a reason? I don't know where I'm going with this joke. Never mind. Abort! Skin lesions! Hooray! Free skin lesions for me. How do we get down into... Oh, I guess there is a border with Turkey after, you know, Russia and Georgia and all that stuff. Okay, never mind. Let's go for that water transmission we were talking about earlier. I probably do want to go for either some birds or some air transmission. 
help us get into other places. Oh my god, we exploded in Turkey. How the heck did that even happen? Okay, so something may have very well been tweaked in this scenario. Pulmonary fibrosis is a big no-no. I need some DNA so I can get rid of that. First death in the turkey. Okay, doop, doop, doop. Uh, get rid of you. Bye. And you know what, for good measure, let's pick up sneezing, because it's really infective. So I don't see any evidence that we're getting a lot of extra severity. What I do think is happening is that we're spreading a bit more rapidly than usual, so maybe some of the background numbers did indeed get tweaked. It's really hard to say for absolute sure. Hot climates would certainly help in a lot of places that we're going next, since we don't have any heat resistance in this uh, scenario. Yeah, that's actually just been straight up removed. Interesting. I do want to get some drug resistance. I mean, now we just kind of need to play this uh, scenario kind of like a normal one, you know? Gosh dang it, stop mutating. Mutation chance is quite high, it turns out. I mean, even if they didn't increase the severity, that in and of itself is a compelling reason not to go too crazy on symptoms, because, well, you get a lot of nasty stuff that just gets everyone to shut their borders and you lose. I don't know. All right. Well, scenario's not nearly as creative as I think I was hoping. I don't even know why you... Okay, so extreme bio aerosols over here, why'd you mix these two up? Should have been one then two, right? Or did you think that that also counts as being clever? I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. It, what I'm just saying is, the theme of the scenario could be good, but considering it's not fleshed out in any meaningful way, who cares? That's all I'm trying to say. So, it's ultimately a bit of a disappointing scenario, in that there's really nothing unique about it at all. And believe me, I wanted there to be something unique about it, because Russian experimentation, it's got five frickin' stars on Steam. Oh look, drug immunity. Okay, there's something different. Class 5 and 6 antivirals. Woohoo! I think we're just going to go for a bit of extra insects, and then, uh, probably the cysts and hypersensitivity, also paranoia. Just to reduce cure progress. Nemia's fine, I'll take that one for free. Still got to get into a handful of hot places and islands and so on. Now there's Madagascar, there's the Caribbean, so really we're just missing New Guinea, and that's the only thing that could really screw me over right now. Uh, hopefully we get in there relatively soon, because... If I'm going to complain about this being a simple and basic and easy scenario, I would hate to have to restart it because that would just feel wrong, right? Uh, maybe. Do we want blood? Uh, I'm not accustomed to doing this, but yeah, let's go for some blood. The problem is all the ports are shutting down and no one's sending boats to New Guinea. There's a boat to New Guinea, I spoke to sun. Alright, birds so we can get into Morocco and Algeria and stuff, and let's also pick up necrosis. Baba da ba doom! All right. Uh, I think we go for the seizures and the insanity, also paralysis and coma. That should slow down the cure significantly. I always think that immune suppression should like also lead to a significant increase in mutation chance or something. If your immune system is unable to ward off, right, all the diseases and stuff, then the, the virus should have free reign to just start mutating in your body as much as it dang well wants to, right? At least I would think so. Total organ failure, also hemorrhagic shock, also internal hemorrhaging, and also... Blah, 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 inflammation. Why is Angola not spreading faster? Eh, it's fine, we have the necrosis, so this is going to be a straight-up win for me. I guess we'll go ahead and pick up the genetic reshuffles level 1 and 2 just to buy a slightly better score, and there we go. So this is just an incredibly high uh, mutation chance scenario with really nothing unique about it except for maybe a couple of background numbers that have been changed and a couple of abilities that, let's be honest, you don't really need. Disappointment! 517 days, 28% cure progress, 47,840 points, 2 stars! I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm hoping that if it's gonna be a generic scenario First off, don't try to sneak by your lack of creativity by just rearranging things and not changing any of the numbers. That's just cheating. But secondly, if you're going to have a generic scenario that's just a virus, but for some reason it's been set off by the Russians this time, okay, but give me like some pop-ups, give me some sort of a story, give me anything. Otherwise, I mean, it's easy to just create a scenario taking a base type and then just creating a description in the beginning and then publishing it and then getting five stars on Steam. I don't get it because it's the minimal amount of effort. For the most amount of gain. I'm going to have to say no. I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't think that that's quite worth the time and investment. But thank you for sending it to me anyway. This is good. It's a learning experience for people, probably. I say that with a certain level of arrogance, as if I'm some sort of uh, qualified critic. 
even though I've got hundreds of hours logged in to play Gink, but still. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>